Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to access props using this.props. Uh, the last several challenges cover the basic ways to pass props to child components, but what if the child component that you're passing a prop to is an ES6 class component rather than a stateless functional component? The ES6 class component uses a slightly different con convention to access props. <clears throat> Anytime you refer to a class component within itself, you use the this keyword, this keyword. To access props within a class component, you preface the code that you use to access it with this. For example, if an ES6 class component has a prop called data, you write this.props.data in JSX. Um, yeah, render an instance of the return temp password component in the parent component res reset password. Here give return temp password a prop of temp password and assign it a value of a string that is at least eight characters long within the child. Return temp password access the temp password prop within the strong tag to make sure the user sees the temporary password. So yeah, I'm gonna do this. The way I'm gonna run this one, I'm just gonna run the test and see what's passing and what's failing. And I'm gonna extend this out so our code looks a little cleaner. Let's see, I'm just going to improve the spacing on this a little bit. I don't know why it's so uh, janky here. Um, okay, so here we have the return temp password. Our fourth child of re reset password should be the return temp password. So reset password here. Um, here again, the spacing is kind of wacky. I'm just going to fix this quickly. Um, so this is the first child, this is the second child, this is the third child, and this is the fourth child. So the fourth child they want to make, the fourth child of reset password should be the return temp password. So here we're going to say uh, return temp password. And then we're going to close it. And so now, oh, you'll see this temporary password is just, which just propped up, which should be up here. So return temp password, this is the component that we just rendered within the reset password component. And here your temporary password is. So we want to change the code in here. Uh, let's see if I run it. Nice, that's passing now. The return temp password component should have a prop called temp password. Temp password should have a prop called temp password and should be equal to a string of at least eight characters. Okay, cool. So should so we're going to pass in a prop here. So let's say um, return, or this should be temp password. And this should be equal to um, uh, it needs to be a string, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It needs to be eight characters long. Temp password. Okay, cool. Now nothing's showing up yet. Why? Because we do not here in return temp password. We're not using that in this box here. So yeah, I think that's what we need to do. But we can run the test now. Cool. We're getting this one to pass now. It should have a prop called temp password. So this return temp password. We're calling it with a prop called temp password. The temp password prop of return password should be equal to a string of at least eight characters. So yeah, this could be anything too. It could be like, um, um, hello, useful programmer. And I think that would still pass the test. The whole idea here is you're just passing in a string, so it doesn't need to be one through eight. And so now what we want is to render the temp password onto our uh, return temp password component. And so, and to do that, we're going to go down to the strong in here, within the strong tag. So it should be within the strong tags. And we're just going to say, um, in brackets, we'll say uh, this dot props dot temp password. Cool. Um, I'm going to, yeah, this needs a space in it. Interesting. Okay, so now what's happening is it's rendering this dot props dot um, pass uh, temp password. So what happens if you just pop this dot props in there? Oh, it wouldn't work. It needs to actually call a specific thing. So temp password is being passed in by this dot props. Uh, we could do something like 
I mean, if we wanted to do something else, just to go into more de- depth, like let's say that this had it had a name, like um, it, we could do something like hello, and then uh, this dot props dot name, and then close the p here, and then we could say come down here and then pass in a second prop, like uh, name is equal to. Um, and then in the curly braces, we say uh, useful programmer. Hello, useful programmer. Your temporary password is hello, useful programmer. Okay, so that means that we're passing this dot props. That's, that's what we're doing when we're saying that we are using this dot props to access this. So this just means from the component that's being rendered in, and then it's passing in temp password and name as props. So we can call those using this dot props dot whatever that value is. And that's the whole thing about this one. If we run the test, I think they'll pass. Interesting, they don't. The Let's get rid of name because that was just something I was just doing to kind of um, expand on this idea. Uh, and run the tests. Still doesn't pass. The password you created as a temp password prop within the strong tag. My guess is that it has something to do with the testing. Maybe it, I need to um, make it like that. Okay, so what was happening is they were just running the tests. Um, let's change this back to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so now it's on a single line. What was happening was that there was must have, when with the space in there that was causing it to fail, but because they wanted to to return exactly what the props are, so their tests were checking for that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.